Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Yukon Cornelius. So we're going to start with the eyes. We're going to start with two little ovals. One on the left, starting from the top, curve down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. We're going to leave a gap in the middle and draw the same thing on the right side. Starting from the top, curving down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Let's color the eyes in black. From here, let's go to the center in between the eyes and draw a point. From here, this is the starting point for our nose. We're going to curve around towards the bottom and then back up to a point at the top. So starting at the top here, we're going to curve out towards the left, curve the bottom of the nose, and then curve up to a point. Now it kind of looks like a giant raindrop. From here, we're going to layer the mustache in behind. So from the left side of this nose, we're going to do a wave that goes out to the tip of the mustache and then back down. So let's start on the left side of the nose. We're going to go up, down, and we're going to curve back up, up, we'll round out the top, back down, and now we're going to go out towards a point, so curving up. Let's do that same thing on the right side, we're going to flip this over, starting at the same height, curve up, and then down. We're going to go down, up, come down, and now we're going to curve up to the tip of the mustache curving up. Now these two points are going to make their way underneath the nose. So from this point, we're going to follow our way backwards. So curving down, we're going to go up, just following that same wave as we have on top, curving up. Now we want to make our way back down and then underneath the center of that nose. Let's work our way towards the right. Curving down and up, round this out curve back up. Now we're making our way to that point, down, and then up to the point on the right. Let's draw a little half oval underneath here for the mouth. So curving down from left to right. From here we're going to draw on the edge of the beard. So it's going to come up in the middle, come down on the sides, and then back up again. So right underneath this curve, we're going to curve down below the mouth, and then up, just underneath the mouth. I'm going to round this out and curve down on the right side and then back up. From here, let's layer in the beard. So just stepping over from the sides, we're going to draw a big sort of like a half circle. Starting under here, we curve down towards the bottom of the beard. And we're going to make our way back up towards the right side. Let's go ahead and layer some earmuffs underneath the mustache. So just in line with the bottom of the beard right up here, we're going to draw a big oval tucked in underneath the mustache. So curving up and then we're going to curve it down in behind the mustache. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. So starting in line with the inside of the beard, we're going to curve up to the top, round this out and pull this in behind the mustache. We're going to draw the brim of the hat. So from the left side, we're going to curve over the eyes over towards the right, curving across. From here we want to draw on the sides of the hat. So just on the inside of this curve, we curve up and in. On the right we'll do the same thing. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve. It goes across, up in the middle, and then down towards the right. For the top of the hat, we just want to draw a little bit of a half circle inside of that point. So from the left side we're going to step in, curve to the top of the hat, and then down on the right side. Up in the middle here, we're going to draw a circle tucked in behind this curve for the pom-pom. Just curving all the way around that. Okay, so we've got the head. Let's get into the body. We're going to start with the collar first. So from left to right, we're just going to draw a little curve for the collar. Coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Let's layer in the body. So just on the inside of those points, we're going to step in, and we're going to curve down the side of the jacket. Curving out and then down. On the right, we'll curve out and down to the same height. Now we want to connect those two points with a curve coming down in the middle. So starting on the left side, we'll curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Let's layer in the big belt buckle here. So it's a circle in the middle of the belly. Around. We're going to trace this out on the inside. So a smaller circle on the inside starting from the top. Let's work our way all the way around. Let's draw in the belt in behind the buckle. 
So it's basically a little bit higher than the bottom of the circle, but it curves to the side of the body. Curving to the left, and then to the right. So you see the buckle overlaps on top of it. We go to the top and do the same thing. Curving across, on the right side we'll do the same. In the middle here we're just going to draw a little line for the zipper, and then we're going to give them two little pocket flaps on either side. So starting on the right side here, go across, we'll come down with two short lines on either side, and then we're going to come down towards a point in the middle, in between that. Do the same thing on this side here. Going across, two lines coming down, and then coming down to a center point. Over here on the shoulders, we're going to draw a little strap for the backpack. So just underneath the chin, over towards the left, we're going to curve around and then in behind the side of the body. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving in behind the side of the body. We're going to layer in the arms in behind now. So right down here, we're going to curve the inside part of the arm. We're going to curve it outwards. We want to draw in the little hands. So from this point, draw a little half circle. Now at the end of that half circle, we're just going to draw a little curve, a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we curve around that bracket, and we're going to layer in a few fingers. So stepping down, do another curve, step down, and we'll do another curve in. Now we're going to take that point and curve all the way up to the top of that shoulder strap, curving inwards. Now right here we just want to draw separation for the cuff of the sleeve, so just curving across like that. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting at the bottom, we curve out and down. We're going to curve a half circle for the thumb, and then we'll draw a little bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're just going to circle around that bracket. We'll step down, draw a second finger, step down again, and draw the back of the hand going in. Now this is going to curve all the way up to the shoulder strap. So we're just going to start at the shoulder strap and curve down. Let's draw that little cuff with a little curve like that. The final step are the legs. So we're going to draw two sets of almost like rectangles coming down this way. So starting on the left side, we're going to step in, draw a line coming down. We step over again and just draw another line. We leave a gap in the middle, draw the same length lines, making sure they're spaced out the same. We'll connect those two points on either side with a curve, just for the bottom of the pants. Now we're going to draw in the feet. So from the left corner here, we're going to step over and draw a straight line coming down to the heel. On the right, we'll step over towards the right, come down towards the heel. Now we're going to draw on the bottoms of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to draw a nice big curve going across on either side, making sure they're roughly the same length. From that toe, we're going to curve up above the top of the foot and then down. Curving up and then down to right about there. And we're going to pull this straight up underneath the pants. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So curving up to the top of the foot, then down to right about there. Tuck that in underneath the pants. We're just going to trace out the bottom line just above it to thicken up the sole. Going across like this. Want to add some laces. So on the side out here, we're just going to draw two little lines coming out. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Yukon Cornelius. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.